So I'm bypassing that safety and that's your issue. So Good morning. It is Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, and I just finished my first job in a very, very nice area with a lot of Taj Mahals. And it was just an overall checkup on a very large house and the heating system. It's a very straightforward heating system, just radiators and circulators. And everything is working well, but I'm heading to Franklin Square for a boiler maintenance and two radiators leaking. I'm not sure what type of system this customer has, if it's steam, maybe it'll just be air valves. If it's hydronic, then it's probably going to be a bit more involved in the fix. The stop but sign. Then at the next one, turn left. Just saw a customer that uh, we, we service often and she waved at me, but hopefully I get something good. So here is the boiler, steam boiler, and the radiators that were leaking, I was able to just tighten up the unions on the radiators, and we'll see whether or not that uh, makes a difference, but they were both very loose, so hopefully that's it. Um, you can see what we got going on here. There is a Hartford loop. Our feed comes in right there. There's no bypass for the feeder, so you can only feed using the feeder. And the header looks like it comes up just enough. Goes off to one main line. And venting looks okay. It looks fairly clean, a little bit dusty, but what I'm gonna do is test the low water cutoff to make sure that that works by draining it. And unfortunately it's too tight of a space, so I can't really show it. And we got some nice brown water, so I'm also gonna drain it fully. It probably hasn't been drained in a very long time. That way uh, we got some nice new clean water in there that's easier for the system to boil. And hopefully our low water cutoff light over there trips when the water condition is low. But yeah, after I do this I'll uh, clean out the burners and combustion tests and everything like that. Unfortunately there's really like no room to work here. So it's going to be tricky to get that combustion test. Okay, so I cleaned the burners, drained up with boiler fully, filled it up a little bit, and drained again just to get any, like, maybe sediment from the bottom. Now I have loosened my strainer for my auto feeder with the water shut off. And a little bit of debris in there. I don't know if the camera can see it. Yeah. Just cleaning it off in the bucket because it's nice hot water. Then I can uh, rinse it off with fresh clean water in the sink, but see we're nice and clean. So just pulled off our pigtail from the pressure trawl and <clears throat> made sure it was blown out, cleaned off the old Teflon and pipe dope, and I'll apply a new Teflon uh, for a good uh, seal. Okay, so I just did combustion tests, pressure trawls back on. I uh, labeled it, put preventative maintenance, labeled our valves. <clears throat> I also used a zip tie to secure the thermostat relay, and I labeled it and I used our sticker to keep the logo on because the logo was sitting on top of the boiler. And now we wait and see if those connections I tightened are leaking. Okay, so I finished up with that. Radiator valves were not leaking. Um, I watched it as the steam came up, not once the radiator was hot, because then the water will evaporate and you just won't see it if it's leaking. Um, let them know that if this starts to loosen up again, then we're probably gonna have to replace both the radiator valves and just gave them the ballpark price on that. But uh, now I'm headed to a no heat call in Linbrook. After that, I'll have another no heat call in Valley Stream. So 
Let's see if I get anything good to record on those. 1,000 BTUs. Oh, sorry? On machine, they don't like it. No, the size is here. I just want to make sure that it's the right size. Actually, what you're saying, right, is that, say, whatever square foot house, does it make sense to have Does it make sense to have what? So if they need to increase the size, right now they're saying the heat is fine, but I'm, in your opinion, you're the expert, right? So yeah. If you okay, so that job turned into an estimate. He has a carbonized a steam boiler left onto uh, Avenue. because it has a hole in it and it is tripping the rollout switch. And even when it was working, there was no um, steam up to the first floor, but there was steam up to the second floor. And it's likely due to the main air vent situation, which is a nightmare. It's just two radiator air vents, and it's all wrapped in asbestos, so... Then at the next one, turn left. Yeah, they weren't uh, expecting that, but they found us on YouTube. Um, who knows whether or not they'll use us, at but... Head to the next, the which is another no heat. Be funny if it's another steam boiler with a hole in it. Be funny if it's another steam boiler with a hole in it. And everything. So, unit has piles of debris. Debris on the burners as well. The rollout switch has been moved. Okay. Two inch copper mains. Got a leak on the sight glass. There's our venting. Up inside. How did you find our company? How did I hope? How did you find us? My wife. Okay. Yeah, she went to work, called me and told me I was looking for someone and um I'm gonna get a clip of that. So when you did that, it just lit? Yeah, so I'm bypassing that safety. And that's your issue. So... The... The boiler is gonna need to be replaced. Well, I didn't sell the boiler, uh, at least not yet. There's still, there's still time. That's what I told Mike, there's still time. But I really hope that we get to do it because um, they were really nice. But the plumbers that have worked on this boiler, it's mind boggling to me what they've done. They moved the rollout switch to stop that from tripping and the rollout got so bad that it still tripped eight inches above the burners. And uh, someone was just there the other day and all they did was replace a thermocouple and relight the pilot and have a nice day. It's scary. The homeowner, when they saw that, was like, their, their jaw like dropped, they couldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to sell it. That's two estimates today that I didn't sell yet. But hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, comment any advice or criticisms or feedback and subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.